had an experience once. I was, I was just worshiping the Lord, and I was thinking about all of the garbage. Well, let me, let me tell you what prompted this. I was in my prayer chair, and I'm praying, and I'm waiting for the Lord to show me something. I'm waiting for expectation, with an expectation that God's going to show me something, because he says he would, his sheep hear his voice. I'm waiting, right? I'm waiting. I'm, I'm coming before him. And after a little while, all of a sudden, my eyes began to open. And, you know, this is what I want. I want to be able to see in both realms all the time. That's, that, that was the desire of my heart. So I saw an angel in the distance. He looked like he was going somewhere else. But I called out to him and said, hey, can you help me? And so he came over to where I was, and he said, what can I do for you? And um, I said, I really uh, want to see better than I do. Because I was seeing things, you know. I was seeing in the spirit, but it wasn't pristine. It wasn't clear. It wasn't, you know, often like I wanted it to be. And so when I asked the angel this, when I told the angel this, immediately his eyes took on the appearance of being injured with blood running down his face. And, I, and it really looked horrendous, you know. And I said, what are you doing? I know you're an angel of the Lord. And when I said that, then his eyes became normal again. And he said, your eyes have been injured from all the garbage you've put into them over the years. He said, but the Lord can heal them. The Lord was giving me another key. That our eyes need to be healed. If there's anything of the past that we need to repent for, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me for taking anything into my eyes that dishonors you, that w was inappropriate, for, for looking at those things that I shouldn't look at, for, for um, thinking about those things I shouldn't think about. Lord, forgive us for that. And, and so I realized that the, this, the Lord was giving me this key, repentance over the things that my eyes have been exposed to and my ears have been exposed to. And so uh, I just began to, to allow the Holy Spirit to deal with that. And the Lord brought up things from years past. But it's like, but Lord, I, you know, I don't have any involvement in this. I don't even think about those things. Yes, but you need to just tell the, repent. You need to repent with your words. And, and you need to ask forgiveness. Be forgiven. And then, you know, that veil is gone then. You don't have to struggle with that. You're fighting something from 20 years ago that you don't want anyway, so let it go. So the Lord showed me that. And then I was thinking about this as I went to my prayer chair another time, and I thought, Lord, sanctify me. Make me clean. Make me a vessel you can use. Make me a vessel you can pour your power through. Because there's a... There's a you, Every one of us, you know people that are hurting so horribly, and you want to be used, right, for your, for your loved ones, you want to be used. And um, so I'm just praying, Lord, sanctify me and make me clean. Make me clean so that you can use me to a greater degree. And as I'm praying this in my prayer chair in the middle of the night, I just had this thought. It was just a thought. It wasn't anything that I saw. But I, I just had this thought of angels pouring buckets of fire from the altar over my head. And I thought, wow, that is so cool. So I'm just, I'm continuing to ask the Lord to sanctify me. And in my imagination, I see angels coming to pour buckets of fire over my head. And this went on for a long time. But then guess what happened? Suddenly there was fire. And it, the fire appeared, and now the fire is like, I'm like right against it. And it's kind of overwhelming because, you know, I was just asking the Lord to sanctify me, but now there's this fire, and I'm feeling it, and it's really intense. And it's there. I mean, it's there. I can see it. And so I thought, well, you know, maybe it's dangerous. Maybe this fire will, like, consume me if I get too close to it. But then I thought, well, i got to trust the Lord to protect me. So I leaned my head back into it. <laughs> and then I did that for, like, the next 20 minutes. I just felt like as I leaned myself into this fire that I was being cleansed. All kinds of garbage was being burnt up. I don't know what that garbage was, but I felt a difference happening. The Lord was sanctifying me, and I got to see the process. Now, that's why I, I encourage people, desire to see the things of the kingdom. Because 
I'm telling you, you experience the same things. You really do. This, but when you see what's going on, it encourages you to even ask for greater, to do it with greater regularity. You accept things by faith. You see miracles by faith. Absolutely. When you ask the Lord to sanctify you, and in the middle of the night, you, the next day you wake up, and you think, oh, God did it. Yeah, well, you know what? That fire was poured out while you were sleeping. He was sanctifying you. He was doing a work. And uh, so, so you have to just realize that if you can see, if you can see what's going on, it encourages you to even go for more. And so I, I was leaning into this fire, and I thought, the Lord's doing it. He's sanctifying me. And so I was so excited, and uh, so I did it again. About a week later, I was in my prayer chair, and I, I, and I thought about that situation, and I thought, I'm going to ask the Lord to sanctify me again, because, I mean, the last time, the last time it happened, something spectacular happened. So why not believe for that again? And so I did. I was asking the Lord to sanctify me, and I, and I just put that image right in my head about angels pouring fire over me. And then suddenly I'm engulfed in flames again. And no, it didn't happen after five minutes. I'll just be honest. It wasn't a five-minute prayer, and then boom, fire from heaven. But, um, but I, I was praying because I knew of the reality of this. I was seeking the things above because I knew the reality of it. And that was an encouragement to me. But something strange happened. Now I'm, I'm in this fire. The fire finally lifts and I just felt, oh my goodness, how great that was. But then these crazy veils come before my eyes again. And I'm thinking, are you kidding me? I just have this wonderful experience in God and now these veils show up again. I don't want those veils. So I'm watching these veils just kind of come before my eyes. And then all of a sudden, it fell to the ground like dust. And the Lord said, sanctification removes those veils. And I thought, oh, it's another key the Lord's given me. I mean, these aren't just keys. This is the way he wants us to live. Not just keys to get this and get that, but just keys to living life in him and really accessing all of the promises that he's given us. Sanctification brings down the veils and causes you to be able to walk in the supernatural things of God to an even greater degree. So we have to be aware of that. We have to stay close to the Lord and his purpose. You know, that's, that's one thing. You know, we get great ideas about ministry. Jesus said, I only do those things that I see the Father do.